The Bible says the time came to the life of Christ, he said, Who do men say that I am? And among the twelve apostles, he learned to fail woefully. Some say he's Elijah. Yes. It's Jeremiah, Amos the prophet. Some say, Oh God, I saw you. This, that, 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 that. It's only people who say, You are that son of God who came from where? Heaven. Heaven. To do well on earth. He says, Upon your name, I will be my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against you. Which means, there's a something about gates of hell, death, and gates the church, and gates the anointed, and gates the believers, for those who understand the mystery and revelations and interpretation of the world. <laughs> Many people feel like just empty vessels on the water, believing that they know God. I know God. Oh, God will love you. We know you. We are Sabbatarians. We are uh, Pentecostal ministers or believers. We are chosen people. No. Now listen, God told Joshua, when Moses is gone, as a young man, just like grow up as a young man, and the father is gone, and God told him, uh, Joshua, I will bless you, I will expand your clothes, I will give you billions, I will give you jeep, I will give you cars, I will give you fine women, fine wine, you know, I will make you to, be, uh, to prosper. But the clause. Am I communicating? Yes. See, God is awesome. He said, "What? Which means it's not too hard for God to give you an explosion. Miracles, not too hard. Every miracle of blessing must come with a clause." He said, "What? Make sure that the book of law will not depart from you." You see, one thing I love God Almighty is a very serious guy. God can love you, can promise you everything, can say this, can say that, but if you step on this, if you come to God, I mean, anyhow, he'll destroy you. I read the uh, Bible, we are, help me, bro, we are a man who wants to get the help of God. You see that? You see that? That's the scripture that makes me cry. Look, look at that. A man wants to help God, that's a man. God of a possible army. What's all? Read the water. Eh? And, yes, and, and the act of God wants to fall. To me, he okay, wants to help God. Yes. Immediately, instantaneously, God is running. him. Say, can a man help God? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That is what we are suffering. That is our problem before God. God told me this about seven, eight years ago. He said, he said, so, he said, so. he said write this thing I'm telling you down. If you will behold my word, family, he said, I will stand your post. If you will be serious with me, I will stand your post. And that time, before I go on the see, that time, my family was suffering setback. Serious setback. Out of annoyance, I went to the mountain, to the mountain. Yes, yeah, 2000, five, five or six, five or six years, out of annoyance. But I, I, I went to see uh, all kinds of, I mean, uh, see this, see that. As a pastor, go here, go here, go here, go here. Nothing works out. I said, no. I will go to the mountain and have a good sex. On the mountain, as I was praying, God told me this vision and said, because you are serious with me, I will liberate you and your family. It's a true story. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I will liberate you and your family. That particular year, 2006, God fulfilled his word. To serve God or to know God is bigger than what you think. A believer or a man of God should have what is called revelation, interpretations, and mysteries. If you don't have the revelation in the word of God, my sister, my brother, you are stagnant. Devil will mess with you. 
That is why you watch in any church. Each time the word of God wants to be released, people will be sleeping. Because the Bible is a key. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible is what? The key to your success. Everything you are looking for, everything you are looking for is in the Bible. Billions, millions. Do you know that the Bible says the time of King Solomon, bronze and copper, silver, is like a stone on the street. Am I complicated? Yeah. He said it's like a stone on the street, which means uh, to tell the God, God, God's blessing, I mean, that time is too much upon his life. The problem we have is to do one plus one, two, minus, plus, to discover the truth, the secret. In the book of Psalm 147, I think we say, I gave my law to Israel. My audience is to Jacob. As for other nations, they don't know me. God has given us everything. The problem we have because we don't know the word of God. From Genesis to Revelation, carefully study about the very, very well. God always says, obey my laws, eh? My commandments, my laws, my ordinances. Just obey it. Then, what is the word of God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is the word of God? The word of God is the secret of life that we can go to you in the certain realm. Do you know that? Do you know that? Everything that God does came from God. Do you know? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Example, if you join any secret cause, maybe I don't know what you go there for, either for money or health anyway, they will ask you to bring to what you do what you love most. Am I going to get it? He said, bring to what you love most, either your wife, your mother, your father, your son, your child, you love most. The same thing applicable to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because God loves people who understand Him, who do some progress things at times. He said to Peter, Upon your name I will build my church, means freedom. And the gates of hell will not block you. Blockades, limitation, will not take you again. Upon my the name, I'll be a church of God. There's something about God we need to understand. He's not missing the mind. We love him so much, fine. You know? Uh, but I will like you, fine. But do you understand the word of God? Can you avail the word of God to make it work in your life? You see, the purpose of God is for us to make heavens, paradise. When God will bless you here on earth, you will still make heavens. I read the book, I, I read the story of uh, Joshua in Egypt. When the master's wife wanted to lie to him, he said, God forbid, how can I be this woman? God and my master. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I begin to ask questions. I said, Who told Joseph as a young man that if you go in with this woman, you will not succeed? Now, take note. That woman, uh, the Bible says, other fourth man, I thought I was a man in the whole Egypt. Huh? Yes. I thought of what the Holy Church, which means billions are there. Yes. Thank you. Billions is what? Yes. There. It is there. But he refused. This is, I mean, uh, some men will say, uh, now, 
then we move over. Jonathan's wife, contract of two billion. He said, No, if you move over, you suffer for your dad. Praise the Lord. You see, you see, we say, God forbid. There's something you will do when you provoke God. God is not concerned about you. Not the word of God. He's concerned about the children and children, children. He always says, I am a God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What you do today will affect their generation to come. Not only money. People believe that. Everything is about that money. Good things, good, 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 you know? Bro, if you tell yourself that a few years today you buy a car, will you believe? You won't believe. I saw people some time ago, people at the Mechanic Workshop. Fifty thousand dollars of people. The price two thousand nine. The big money come. Nineteen ninety two. I was aware. John I here. All this four one nine. Those days. God. People to want to finish over that time. People say people. Ah, people. Ah, people. People. Ah. So people got to go to people. I'm not going to get it. People. Ah, see. Ah. Today is two thousand nine. The price of the bag. Bring one. If you see it, praise the Lord. Good things of this world can't finish. That's what God said. Make sure that the book of law will not depart from you till the day you will die. If you want to prosper in that land you are about to enter. You know, God not crowd. You and your children. After you, your children will take over. Look at the young man. After the father, you will take over. Suddenly, how God works. He says, I'm giving you a secret now. If you are praying that God will bless you alone, that billion, billion, you're a great man. You can't walk like that. Because if you're gone, now who will serve God again? Had it been that uh, our prophet is a wayward guy in those days, no ego, you know, that kind of thing, traveling overseas, Chicago, Russia, maybe the father is gone, I call you, I call Congo, the father has done that, come, come. He was saying, ah, bullshit. Ah, hey, God, you know what I mean? Man, 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 man. Praise the Lord. He said, man, 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 Understand my way. God is conventional. I'm not going to get it. It's conventional. Not, if you think that God is here, you will not you. You see what he does. When a lighter run from uh, Jezebel back to Mohammed, he saw mountains, expert everywhere. So, God, thank you, you are here. God, thank you. That's the one. I will get the one. Though. He saw tornadoes. So, God, you are here. And God was saying, all of a sudden, a soft tender voice behind him and said, Elijah, what are you here? Praise the Lord. Amen. God opened his eyes, saw 7,000 virgin prophets. Who never eat of clean food or sin woman? You know, there's been a time of some particular minister, they say, we are the God of truth, we can go to the Austin, they say, God, the God of the redeem, this, that, that. No, no. God told, I uh, mean Elijah, because of that thing he did, God said to him, anoint Elisha, Hassan, and, and uh, Jehovah. If anyone escaped from the sword of Elisha, Jehovah will destroy him. If he has escaped from the sword of Jehovah, Elisha will submerge him. These are ministers, God's station. Am I going to get it? You know, we need to go back to God. Understand God. God told me this on the mountain. He says, Saul. Make sure that my book will not depart from you. That is why I never enjoy my youth all the days of my life. If I try it, I will get problem. The time came 
God bless me with money. When I need money, millions of naira. You know the story with the high connection. I don't go lie you. I don't buy more. You know, the prop knows that time. I don't buy more. I don't go lie you. Man, I call a driver, taking me to a car, taking me to all places. Then came a problem, Jenny. Big problem. Praise the Lord. Even the parents, like now, the parents, the problem. One I was crying. I sold all the cars with my parents. My boss on the way, I sold them all. And the money, she will disappear. One day I was crying. God told me that. When this money comes, did he consult me? I said no. The one that rent a big house, did he consult me? I said no. Cars are coming in, you are taking it. I said no. I said now, you will see it. A whole nation give it to a large spirit. There's no time. One day we we'll have a kind of exhibition. So we will force some, some mysteries here. There's no time. We need to know God. We need to know God. The time to know God, the time of your success, is important. You know, people believe that if you, if you, how do I put it in that way? You understand? If you, If you don't have money, or maybe to make money, man, you will go to some spiritual things or you know that kind of thing. This, that, you know, listen. You can make money. You can make money on your own. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, in terms of favor, health, favor, health, open doors, is free. Free. But in terms of money, see, to make money. You make money, you must sow seed. Am I going to get it? Yes. You must do what? Sow so seed. That is what I said. Make sure that my word is with you. For God will tell you what to do at any given time. You see, the Bible, you see, that the things you will do at any given time. Example in the Bible, in the book of Luke chapter 5. Peter called the whole night. And Peter was able to do what? Cut into the fish and fish. In the sea. But Peter never knew that he has to do did something by giving Christ his boat as a platform to preach. But every word of God must come to pass in your life. The Bible says when Peter finished, uh, I mean, he was washing his neck and Christ finished his preaching, he turned to Peter and said to Peter, launch your neck. Peter said, I don't know who you are. He said, launch your neck. He said, Peter said, oh, man. I have called the whole night over. Nothing. He said, Master, today is no fish, today is no fish. He said, launch your net. And when Peter launched his net, Peter was unable to reach the world on his net. So what was the book of I want to say to pass. When the Lord turned the captivity of war. Why you are suffering because you don't know the word of God. The time to sow and the time to pray. The time to walk and the time for thanksgiving. You don't know these things. You will be able to come to church and lift your hand above your head in prayer. No, 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 no. There is time to sow, time to walk, thanksgiving. Time to worship. Time for everything. Many people are holding their sight. Many. In the Bible, no word for it. I mean, from heaven without a seed. So we want to to God. 40,000 hours a week. In the Bible that shaped heaven. The Bible says, Elohim came by himself and told the Lord, the dream says, What do you want for me to do for what, 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 what do you for you? And so the Lord said, Wisdom. He said, No, 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 you're a young man, fine woman, cheap and humble cheap. <laughs> what object? Private jet and this He said, No, wisdom. He said, Okay, wisdom and riches will do what? Will be launched to you. That's why. No one, one of a woman on this very earth will be, shall be, richer than the soul of all. 
If you're a what? You know, near house, you know, near house, it ends, are they? You build a house with stones and marble. The stone of this house, silver, gold, and gold. I'm going to get it. See it. See it. How do you prepare a site on next year for Thanksgiving? You're about to do. How? You come to God and work for Thanksgiving for what He has done for you for this year with empty hands. Thank God for David. When David sinned against God, the Bible says he went to a, a farmer called Arona. A poor farmer who told him, say, Oh my God, take my farm for sacrifice. Take free. I give it free. God forbid. How can I give God cheap article? Cheap thing. That's what God says. David is a man after my word.
Praise the Lord. We need to go back to God and understand God. Let us stop to suffer and parents. I mean, struggle. We are about to enter a new year. How can year to year, year to year, no marriage, no wife, no children, no car? Every year, you are met with overpassing. You are passive. You know? Every time, don't worry about it. Everything will fall. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can break out from that cell. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we stand up?